Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to what I'm assuming is like day 30 of Vito because tomorrow's Halloween and I really want to put out some kind of Halloween video. I don't know what it is yet because I'm pre-filming, but since we have gone through all my shelves and decluttered and unhauled quite a few books and we are working on this TBR to zero. I thought it would be really fun to go through all of my shelves and I can tell you what the book is, who the author is, and uh, yeah, that's probably all this book is going to be. I'll have some kind of like tracker or a, you know, number of books that I have unread on my shelves and we can find out together uh, what that number is. I'm assuming it's going to be around 200 books, physical books, but like I said before, I have other TBRs like my audiobooks and my Kindle books. Whoa. We might have to have a video for both of those coming up very soon. <laughs> this video. We are going to go in order of my books. So first we have my young adult thrillers. The Companion by Katie Aldner. Throwaway Girls by Andrea Kuntos. The Follower by Kate Doty. The Murder Game by Carrie Doyle. Good Girls Die First by Katherine Foxfield. The Twin by Natasha Preston. And now we are going to start my adult Thrillers, What Rose Forgot by Nevada Barr, Layover by David Bell, The Lost Woman by Sarah Bedell, The Sorority Murder and The Third to Die by Allison Brennan, Just One Look by Lindsay Cameron, It's Always the Husband by Michelle Campbell, Girl Eleven by Amy Souter Clark, The Family Plot by Megan Collins, I Know My Name by C.J. Cook, Girl A by Abigail Dean, A Nearly Normal Family by M.T. Edverson, cul de -sac by Joy Fielding, The Girls Are Also Nice Here by Laurie Elizabeth Flynn, Never Look Back by Allison Galen, The Summer I Drowned by Taylor Hale, Keep Her Safe by Sophie Hanna, Hush Little Baby by R.H. Caron, Jar of Hearts by Jennifer Hillier, The Poet by Lisa Renee Jones, True Crime Story by Joseph Knox, Girl Last Seen, The Starter Wife, and What My Sister Knew, all by Nina Lauren, The New Neighbors by Simon Lellick, The Accomplice by Lisa Lutz, The Wicked Girls by Alex Marwood, Promise Not to Tell by Jennifer McMahon, Two Truths and a Lie by Meg Mitchell Moore. The Whisper Man by Alex North. The Therapist by B.A. Paris. Love and Theft by Stan Parrish. The Sanatorium by Sarah Pierce. The Woman in the Dark by Vanessa Savage. The Woman Inside by E.G. Scott. The Other People by C.J. Tudor. The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton. Beautiful Bad by Annie Ward. Girls on Fire by Robin Wasserman. When We Were Worthy by Mary Beth Mayhem Whalen. The Financy by Kate White. Watch the Girls by Jennifer Wolf. This section of my TBR, I'm not going to be counting for these books because by the time you are seeing this, it is the end of October and hopefully if future Alita has stuck to her TBR, then these are not on her TBR anymore. She has read them. Hopefully. I'm going to skip to right here, which are my horror novels, then my arcs. These ones are books that I've read, so I don't need to count them either. Tender is the Flesh by Augustina Batarica, The House Next Door by Darcy Coates, Nightwood by Patricia Winsler, 
that was all the horror novels that are on my TBR, so now we are going to ARCs. I Know You Remember by Jennifer Donaldson, The Perfect Fraud by Ellen LaCourt, Lost You by Halen Beck, I'm the Girl by Courtney Summers, Big Bad by Lily Anderson. Okay, so that is shelf number one, you know, the top shelf. Shelf number two are books that I've read until you get right here, which is my, also, my self-destructing books. So if you haven't seen that yet, you're going to get kind of a little preview of it, or like I'm going to tell you exactly what's on it. But, I mean, you can go look at my self-destructing books list, it'll be linked up here. And you can go see why these books are going to self-destruct, if you want to, but you should. My Heart and Other Black Holes by Jasmine Wagger. The Girl in 6E by A.R. Tor. The Last Resort by Marissa Stapley. The Woman Outside My Door by Rachel Ryan. The Pledge by Rob King. The Diviners by Libba Bray. They All Fall Down by Roxanne St. Clair. First We Were Four by Alexandra Surley. Black Beauty by Anna Sewell. Those are the books that are going to be self-destructing in pretty close to a year. So we're going to start right here. This has my contemporary and at one point it was young adult, then adult, and it was also young adult hard hitting, young adult romance, young and then adult hard hitting adult romance. Now I'm not entirely sure <laughs> how the order is, but I have both my young adult and adult contemporaries coming up next. Uh, I don't really read a lot of young dolls, so there's probably not too many, but let's see what contemporaries I still have. May the Best Man Win by Z.R. Allure. The Memory Book by Laura Avery. A Dog's Way Home by W. Bruce Cameron. Wicked Women 101 by Susanna Carr. The Distance Between Lost and Found by Katherine Holmes. What I Carry by Jennifer Longo. Forever Interrupted and Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Rules of Rain by Aaliyah Schreier. Before We Were Blue by E.J. Schwartz. A Night Twice as Long by Andrew Simmet. Fix Her Up and Tools of Engagement by Tessa Bailey. 20 Times a Lady by Karen Bosnick. Faking Mrs. Wright by Claire Kingsley. Happy Endings by Fim Kim Lam. Beautiful Bitch by Christina Lauren. The Boy Toy and the Man Band by Nicola Marsh. From Here to You by Jamie McGuire. The Dating Playbook by Farrah Rochin. Simmer Down by Sarah Smith. An Unexpected Kind of Love by Hayden Stone. Mr. Nice Guy by Jennifer Miller and Jason Pfeiffer. And that is the end of my romances, so we are going to move on to my three fantasy and one sci-fi. I put them on the same shelf because I don't read either of them very often at all. Witches of Ash and Ruin by E. Latimer. Poison Study and Magic Study by Maria V. Snyder. The Martian by Andy Weir. And that is the end of my fantasy sci-fi shelf. So now we have um, for the month books. Everything We Didn't Say by Nicole Bart. Breathless by Amy McClatch. The Inheritance of Orquita Divina by Zordia Cordova. The Hunting Wives by May Cobb. The Holdout by Graham Moore. That was the end of my Book of the Month books. I have classics and graphic novels coming up next. I literally have two classics to talk about right here and then some graphic novels. Classical Mythology. Selected Poems of Robert Frost. Cancer Vixen by Marissa Marchetto. Strange Planet by Nathan Pyle, 
Archie Volume 5 and Archie Volume 6. That is the end of my graphic novels and my two classics. I might have three more classics coming up actually on the classic shelf. You know, I just kind of randomly put stuff everywhere, but that's okay. The next shelf is nonfiction. The Honest Life by Jessica Alba. Molly's Game by Molly Bloom. The Man in the Monster by Martha Elliott. Catch and Kill by Ronan Farrow. Sickened, The True Story of a Lost Childhood by Julie Gregory. Marley and Me by John Gorgon. Wasted, A Memoir of Anorexia and Bulimia by Maria Hornbacher. Pretty Happy by Kate Hudson. Steal Like an Artist by Austin Kellon. Member of the Family by Diane Lake. Serial Killer Timelines, If You Tell by Gray Galson. I, The Creation of a Serial Killer by Jack Olson. Arrested and Unsolved Deaths, Witches, Sluts, and Feminists, 100 Things You Are Not Supposed to Know, Unbelievable, Campfire Stories. That is the end of my nonfiction shelf, except for books that I have for reference purposes only. I'm not planning on reading them from front cover to the end, so I'm not counting them on this video. The next shelf is the remainder of my classics and my one just plain mystery. Beowulf by Seamus Heaney. I have read a lot of this, but I haven't read it from front cover to back cover, and I really want to. Politically Correct. These are a collection of fairy tales. Night Road by Kristen Hanna. This is my one mystery. And you might have noticed that I did skip one of the books on my classic shelves. That's because it's not my book. It's my husband's and I don't know if I'm ever going to read it or not. Is how many books are on read on my TBR shelf or shelves. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I should be proud or ashamed at this point. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already where we're always talking about bookish things. I'm always doing fun and wacky bookish challenges. 